When I was a child, my brother would tell me a bedtime story about the man who murdered our father and watched as his blood poured onto the floor. He told me other stories about all the things we would do to that man once we took back the Seven Kingdoms. What up, my people? It's your boy, Sammy the Gemini, and I'm in the studio with Waxy Fair. Hey, guys. And yes, this is The Cineverse. And you know how we always do, you know, bring you the hottest reviews from the <sighs> hottest raves of the moment in the movie slash television industry. So Quite today, we are talking about... Game of Thrones, episode two, yeah. two season eight. We're going to be talking, quick recap of the highlights from episode, episode two. One. But I'd be honored to serve under your command, if you'll have me. He really believes in her. He's really shocked by his sincerity. Five, five, five. All right, now, first of all, general Sansa, opinion. I was hoping we could speak alone. Um, nothing much, per se. I just think it's a Danny filler. Danny comes There's, to Sansa with there a, isn't a bit anything of an olive that branch. really drags the attention. Well, yeah, there are quite a number of things that drag the attention, but... What? You know, are quite, what? No, really. Compared to episode one, it's not like all the way there, but true, I'm thinking true. it's a filler, you know, to Get just back. help us cross we our eyes and we never bow to anyone who else who again. Said what, who did what, who joined what? what? Can we do? So, yeah, so we're going to be taking it chronologically, like, you know, some highlights that we noticed from the episode. Now, there may be some things that we did not notice or some things we didn't see, but these are Damn, the, the highlights or the high things points may not go for us. Entirely. The big At breaks. The, exactly. Big breaks for us, the Cineverse crew. Now, the first one on the list, we're going to be talking about the child. fact that My the episode opens with story. Jamie Lannister in front of the bottom of the man. In fact, I don't think Brandon Stark was also there, but just that, you know, Brandon Stark is not proud. As as not, as as he not knows child. everything now, so, you know, exactly. he has to sit at the back and watch them talk what yes. he already knows. So, Brandon is not proud, so he didn't really sit on the high table. His own table was higher than the rest of them, you understand? But, yeah, they had to decide Jamie Lannister's fate and all of that. And number two, we're talking about the fact that. Okay, what no, before, 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 before that, before that, let's not get there yet, before that, throughout the episode, all the she events leading up to that part, okay. Arya Stark was looking at Jamie with a piece of meat. According to him. She so was looking at Jamie like, like if I catch this one. Onto the ah. reason. Ah. 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 Oh my child, so. I'm like but a filter, then, like, next one please. <laughs> now, number three, the number three thing on the list is the fact that there was a final reunion. Or finally, there was a reunion between Jamie Stark and Bran. Sorry, yeah. Jamie Lannister and Brandon Stark. Like the actual I'm sorry for what I did you. Talk one on one. Mm -hmm. and it was. You weren't sorry. It was sort of what I expected because I know the ideal thing would be to expect that Brandon Stark would be pissed and he will unleash. All the power, yeah, all the, the beer ravings. You have pushed me out. No, yeah, I like, you know what he said? He said, And I would no, still be I Brandon no Stark. He's not, he's no longer Brandon. That that is is maybe beyond. Brandon in the normal day would have thrown it, no. his defeat and all that. But he's like the three hide wave in the all knowing. Three all right, on to the next one, number four on the list. Podrick. <laughs> <laughs> now, all of your, really? Oh, you yeah, do not I remember, remember Podrick? Now I do. Now, let's um do a quick recap. Now, Podrick from the previous season of Green Things. It was this weak kid that Lady Brienne, he um, came in contact with Lady Brienne. Mm -hmm. Then he decided to become Lady, Lady Brienne's way. squire and she was teaching him right. how to sword fight. This was a couple of seasons ago. Mm -hmm. Now fast forward to episode two where Podrick is now the one teaching someone else how to sword Podrick fight. Can see. And he was showing moves. That's basically a positive thing. We know he did that. So that was actually a good highlight. For me, at least, it may not be a major highlight for most people, but that was one thing that I really noticed. Now, we're going on to the next one, number five on the list. Number five on the list is the fact that when Jamie Lannister was talking to Brienne, she noted the fact that he wanted to serve under her command. Mm -hmm. now, yeah. He made, a, he made a point. He said sure you'll teach he is no longer the king slayer he once he was. He's, not long, he's no longer the warrior he once was, but he still wants to serve under her command. Now, number six item is the fact that you know, Daenerys and Sansa finally had that conversation because we know that from episode one, when Daenerys arrives, there isn't really any love lost between the both of them no. because they're just having this 
stare down and all of that. And you know, the next even goes as far as reporting sons out to the next generation. Wait, if I sound like I'm reporting it to your brother. Let me tell you what she has done. Let me tell you what she has done. Seriously. Well, you know, they finally had the conversation, and the entire conversation was about trying to come to some sort of understanding. And they eventually found out that, you know, the common factor was John Snow. They both loved John. He was never anything but decent to Yeah, but even with the impact which they've reached, you can still see that there's still a little bit of tension. And this is not focused on John. And she said something, she said, after the war, what next? Now, number seven, we're going to talk about the relationship between Sansa Stark and Theon Greyjoy. Now, finally, Theon Greyjoy. Theon Greyjoy. Oh. You name your child Greyjoy. No. <laughs> no. Now, finally, um, Sansa and Theon finally reunite after a while apart. And, you know, they've always had this whole brother and sister relationship thing mm -hmm. on lockdown. But since their reunion, people have started shipping them. Yeah, I think one of the things that reaffirmed mm -hmm. that there might be something more than friendship was when he came and was like, he came to fight for. Um, Do you remember the, 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 the fight for the Yeah, the North. And said, yeah. Then he mentioned Winterfell. I mentioned if Lady Sansa would have him, like, oh, Okay. I was a direct. So this is a direct, you know. Back in the day, that's, that's a, a shot shooting. Shoot I mean, did shoot I get it? Short shooting, shoot shooting. Ah. That's a short oh shooting. Oh. Now we're moving on to the next one. Number eight, we have the Night King. Now the Night King wants Brandon Stark. Yeah, he wants, he wants to kill like. everyone, especially Brandon Stark. Now the reason is very simple. A lot of people have been making the mistake that the Night King wants to rule the world. No, he doesn't want to rule. He just this wants to end everything. He doesn't want to rule. He wants nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just like, end everything. End the human race. Erase the human race. Erase the history of the human race. Turn now, them to the forgotten. Now, the reason why he's actually specifically after Bran is because Brandon Stark is like the Wikipedia of the human race. <laughs> He's the Google of the human race. History personified. That is what the three-eyed reason signifies. Now, Brandon goes on to say that the Night King has tried to erase history many times with many three-eyed reasons. So Brandon will even be the first one. Yeah, there are many tries. Exactly. Moving on to the next one, we're going to be talking about dun dun dun. Okay, I don't know why I went dun dun dun, but I had mm, a pretty good same. idea. <laughs> Hold on. I understand. All right. She has nice tits, I must say. Only not. So I have <laughs> has, she has finally had tits. So, mm. Yeah. With the guy who knows only one rich girl. Just the guy that she has been looking at like meat since episode one of season eight. <laughs> looking at him like meat that she just chicken said. Yeah, but the thing about Arya just, is, the thing about Arya is, even in her curiosity, she just went straight up with it. Okay. Just straight for it. Like, she was fun. very assertive about what she wanted. <laughs> Let's carry on. Now, finally, we're going to talk about the fact that Jon Snow has finally revealed yes. to dance. See, let me say this one. Okay. You know what? Go, go ahead. I'm pretty much excited <laughs> about this. You've been excited about it since you watched I've been episode, excited about it because Daenerys has just been one very, very... I don't know, sir. She's annoying my entity. But let's, let's be uh, factual. Why is she, why, why is she annoying? <laughs> let's be factual. I think the moment where she found out that... that he is um, Ergon Targaryen, right? Mm -hmm. And she's like, he's like yeah, the last the even male heir. You know, at that moment, you feel like all oh, your hopes are just dashed. Like, just Something enter, been fighting enter, for enter ocean. Life. Not ocean, ocean. Everything My just brother Raven. scatter. Like, I, bring, oh. I think I brace psychology at that moment just erupted into a Everyone very Everyone told me he was decent. I cannot start to speak English. And then again, <laughs> around that period, that was when the trumpet now sounded so... There wasn't really a conclusion, there was no conclusion. to that discussion. It's something that will probably be carried over. And, and if the war is actually starting from the next episode, it's something that is a discussion that they will probably not have, have until towards till the end or after, after the, the war. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, um, on a side note, this is just a bonus, a bonus highlight. I feel you would want to. What, what do you mean? You know, there are some people that have not watched this, so let them be We're informed. We're going to talk about Avengers Endgame. Okay, we'll talk about Avengers Endgame. And then we'll talk about Game of Thrones. Ha. Otherwise, we'll fight on set. <laughs> I've just seen my own. <laughs> we're going to fight on set. But yes, that's what we're going to be talking about in the next episode. Do not forget to look for us on YouTube. Yep. Camera Boy TV. Click the subscribe button. And on Instagram, it's Camera Boy dot dot TV. TV. Dot on Instagram, TV. I'm Sammy the Gemini. She is what what underscore only. only on o Instagram and until we come your way next time make sure you keep your luck with us and we'll always give you the best of the greatest greatest movie reviews